So today I have an exciting video planned where I start a K-pop photo card collection for my favorite group, Seventeen. At the beginning of this year, I started watching so many K-pop photo card collection videos or sorting photo cards into their binders, and it made me want to start collecting for a K-pop group that I enjoy. But after watching those videos, it just seems like it would be so much fun to start doing because everyone who has the collection, they're just so into it and they're so proud of them. So I thought, like why not do one for myself just a disclaimer i don't plan on collecting every single album photo card that comes in a korean or japan album just because i don't really have a bias for 17 which is so crazy i literally love all of them so much so it's gonna be a little bit tricky for me to collect every single thing because that's 13 biatches i don't have the funds for that or space for that on my bookshelf another thing is when i watch these videos they all seem so proud and happy to have everything in their collection and I already know um, I don't care like I don't think that would bring me joy I would just kind of see like I don't really like some of the photo cards I would just be collecting them because I felt like I needed to have every single PC that comes in an album slash version of that album so what I plan on doing is just collecting photo cards that I personally like so there are gonna be versions of an album where I just have way more photo cards of than other albums or versions and that's why I kind of want to explain myself before I show you the little photo cards that I do have. So I'm also doing this because after watching those videos, it seems like a nice thing to put the photo cards away rather than having them be raw dogging it on my shelf right now. My photo cards are just laying there on my bookshelf. Like I have them sleeved once I like Aww. pull them from an album, but then they just go back and sit there. I felt like I should put a disclaimer out there for how I plan on doing my photo card collection. I tried to do a setup on my iPad, but it honestly doesn't make sense because when you see later in the video, I don't have many variation of album pieces because I only own like I think three albums because y'all sometimes we gotta wait to buy things we enjoy sometimes we have to wait so that's what I'm doing so I only have a few right now I have recently been just buying PCs that I enjoy or want in my collection so that is why there's a few like stragglers from albums I don't even own but yeah um I hope you enjoy this video and I will cut to the next clip where I'm actually sorting everything and you can see how my process is I believe it'll make more sense when you actually see me sort my photo cards in the binder because I feel like I'm just speaking nonsense i will cut to the next clip okay disclaimer any background noise that is unwarranted doesn't need to be heard and should be silenced is from my <laughs> <laughs> that should not be in it you f keep that in joe keep that i will <laughs> I will. I'm gonna first start off by explaining how I'm gonna organize my photo cards in my binder and how I figured out everything because I'm low-key a genius. No, I'm playing. I'm doing Junie's template because I have 10 photo cards of his right now. So I just decided to pick the member that I had the most of. So it was easier for me to organize this. So how I'm organizing it is I'm using four pocket pages like I put in the corner. So that way I knew how to like count it out. Some of it is a little random and doesn't make sense like look I do seven four times but then I only did eight twice I did this like a couple weeks ago and I honestly don't even remember <laughs> why some of them don't go fully all the way to four I only plan on collecting PCs that I like that is the emphasis on this video and how I'm storing these I'm only collecting PCs that I like and because I have a problem with parting with things I am most likely gonna keep PCs that I pull in albums but I also don't know how true that is you know things can change so this was just an easy way for me to figure out how many binder pages I'm gonna need but I also did it this way because I'm pretty sure for the later albums you always get four PCs in them and I also plan on only buying one version of each album if I like a PC from a different version of an album I'll just buy or trade it because I I don't have enough room in my bookshelf to collect every version of every album that's why I'm also collecting PCs that I like and not based on member because I also don't really have a bias isn't that crazy there's 13 of these biatches and I can't pick a bias and they're also great and wonderful but anyway let me get started the majority of my pcs are honestly from only a few of these albums so i'll show you the empty pages and how i plan on organizing that based off this template i'm gonna need 33 pages in total but again i have a super small binder so i'm probably only gonna put in 20 pages right now and then later down the line if the binder can even fit that many pages i will add as it goes but 
we will see for right now. I have this pink binder that I got from Amazon because pink is my favorite color and 17 is my favorite group. So I'm like, uh, hello, match made in heaven. And then the binder pages I'm gonna use, I only did 20 for now. They're these like rinky dink ones from Amazon. So the binder is empty because I'm also not creative. Right now it's gonna be simple, sleek. Um, <laughs> These pages are also double-sided because my sleeves cover the backs of the cards anyway. Can this, okay, this is low-key difficult. What's wrong with this one? Oh, I also really want to buy one of those like boards that you put in front of the actual start of your collection to protect them. Cause I feel like that's a good idea. Hello, get, okay. Yes, okay. So I have one semicolon album and I pulled Joshua for this random thing. So I'm gonna just put him right here. And then when I bought a PC, someone gave me the S Coops Your Choice little photo. So I'm also gonna put him right here. And then I'm gonna show you my favorite PC that I own right now, which is Woozy's Uwahe from this Face the Sun version. Uh, I'm gonna be real, I don't know what version this is from. But girl, I plan on collecting every single PC of him doing this. Like those are really the only PCs I want of Woozy and Hoshi, of them doing like Harange and Wahe, just because it's so freaking cute. So yeah, you know how to display this in a little top loader. This is displayed in my room, so I'm not gonna like put it anywhere here. And then for the sleeves, I have they're both from Mondu Deco, so the inner sleeve and the outer sleeve. And I really like these pink backing ones just because they kind of match and I feel like it's cuter. Since I don't have any of the older albums like at all, I'm gonna start with FML and then work my way backwards just because that's easier for me to do. And I don't think I'm gonna do it by age order either, like depending on what I have. I honestly think I'm gonna do it by whatever layout is the nicest, just because since I plan on collecting whichever PC I like, I don't see a point in organizing it chronologically just because it's y'all it's my collection who cares anyway this one oh my god actually every single pc i have of s coops is from fml because i put i bought the first album i ever bought so i could start like doing this why did i get all four of these in one why this carrot version god damn oh i actually have every single pc of june's which is why i have so many of his carrot version because I thought they looked so pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with the care versions and then do the regular one after. I think I should just do June's like all on the same one. I love watching these videos because I think they're so fun and I think they're so calming. I don't know, I'm obsessed with these. Because I was obsessed with watching these videos, that gave me the want of wanting to have a collection. And because Seventeen, again, is my old group, I figured why not do it with them? Also, it, but I also, it's kind of hard because, oh, this is also care version. Break. I'll do it like that then. There you go. The half heart things they did for this, excellent. Who thought of this? They deserve a raise. They deserve, honestly, a purple heart. That's why I wanted like all of June, just because, okay, June in this era too. Excellent, excellent. Um, Joshua. Yeah, but I thought it was funny that I pulled all of S Coops in the FML album. Like, he was also my bookmark, and then Ming Ao was my sticker, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's FML done. Let's see what's the next album that I have. Because I'm not going to, like, leave these blank. What I'll do when I start to get those album PCs is just add an extra page in between that one, and then... Y'all know what I mean, okay? Next is Sector 17. I know I legit only have this one card, but I plan on getting more from this era. I'm pretty sure the one with Woozy and the blonde eyebrows is from this era, but I'm not entirely sure. But I'm gonna get that because I think he looks so adorable. Anyway, after that, we're gonna go on to Face the Sun. Um, I have a lot for Face the Sun. I won't even lie. Okay, so as you can see, I have, I think, probably the most from Face the Sun. I think I'll do carrot version at the end, and I'll do these first. And it's not going to be on the different versions, obviously. It's just going to be how I like it. Damn, this is an odd one out because of the background. Okay, I just looked at the template, and I didn't even know this was the Weaver's album version. Um, like I said, I just get what I like, so I have no idea. And since I do get what I like, it's obviously 
it's going to be a little bit uneven on how many I have, especially for the first albums, because I think you only get one or two in the earlier albums. This one's out of place, so from the these care version, so I'm going to put them here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Since you get less PCs in the earlier albums, I feel like for those especially, I'm going to have such an odd number because I also don't, I don't know, I don't really have that many that I like in the earlier albums. Like, I'll obviously keep whoever I pull when I once I purchase those albums, but as for buying other ones to fill up a page, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> okay, this one's alone. But I do like a lot of the Face to Sun Care versions, so I might... Like, I really want Wanu's, where he has his, like, finger on his nose. And I really like Mingyu's Face to Sun's versions as well, so. And those are the only two members I literally don't have anything of. No, no, no. And Jungan. <sighs> Heartbreaking. Anyway. <laughs> next album. So, I don't own anything from Your Choice or Otaka, but the next ones are Home Run. When I pulled DK's in my album, I literally had no idea who that was. I was like, um, who is this? <laughs> I thought he looked so different, but it's just because his hair is so flat. No shade, no shade, but I feel like this concept is really cute because I feel like you don't really see this. And especially because a lot of them have, obviously, hair like this or they, like, have little to no makeup on, so it's cool. Next, I only have one and Ode album, so I'm just gonna put him here so I can easily, like, I had other ones from the other, what is it called, from the other things. So yeah, since I have nothing of that, I'll just put him on a page like this. And then I'll start my other section over here. So literally the last 17 album PC I have is this one from Going 17. Um, It's Vernon and Sun Quan, and it's their like duo card from that. Yeah, when I saw someone was selling this, I said, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's coming home with me. And then after that, I have this random Busak Soon card. <laughs> it's him and with the bananas. And it's my only solo Soon Kwan PC. I need more of him. Really bad. Like, literally, a lot of the cards are obviously from the same people because I only ever pull S Coops, as you can tell. Ming Ao. June. Honestly, yeah. Who else? Honestly, Joshua. I do pull Joshua quite frequently. It's like, how am I not getting a variety of people in a group with 13? Put him right here. And then I have two random Daikon PCs because these were freebies when I bought, I forgot what I bought. Either I bought PCs or I bought like merch. Oh. No, I don't think I would get this with merch. Yeah, I'm gonna be for real. I don't know how I got these, but I do know I didn't buy them because I don't plan on ever buying things like this. I feel like a lot of Daikon PCs, like people sell them super cheap or they do what they did for me and they give them for free so hello okay there you go well i hope this makes sense this is honestly a very sad collection because i don't have much but trust me you guys it will grow and i felt like i needed to do this so i could kind of organize it because like i said before they were raw dogging on my bookshelf for months <laughs> and now i really do plan on buying more pcs Gear. but yeah that's my collection Woo! Yahoo! This binder is very small, so I don't know how many I'll be able- I don't think I'll be able to honestly fit 30 pages with PCs on the front and backs of the binder pages. That's something for future me to worry about, but I do know I want 8 to 5 binders for my collection, so if it does get to that point, which I obviously don't need to worry about now, but I'm likely just gonna get a second binder to probably fit like a certain amount of albums, and then the next binder will fit that next Y'all know what I mean. That is my binder collection. And probably every like few months, I'll probably like update and store some. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I might do this for my BTS collection because I do have significantly more PCs of them. And because their solo albums honestly give me so much. So I might do one for them, but I might not. Who knows? We'll see. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.